So, this is the amplified antenna that we're going to be installing today. And I'm going to be taking it out of the box and showing you guys all the components that come with it. So, this is your uh, power injector there. These are your back bolts or U-bolts, you can call them. This is the antenna itself. And your power supply. There's also a little instruction manual you get in there, but I don't need that. These are the VHF arms that you install on the side of the antenna. So there's a little bit of assembly here with uh, putting the backplate and the U-bolt uh, onto the antenna. You have to take the backplate off uh, just with a Phillips screwdriver and then you uh, put the U-bolt uh, through the holes there on the back and then you, you put it back on and that way it'll actually allow the clamp to fit properly on the back of the antenna so that you can mount it on your, your antenna mount and then you just secure that with the wing nuts that come with it. So now we're going to attach the weather shield to the end of the wire. What you want to do is just cut in the end off and then you can put a couple slits in the side so that it'll fit over the wiring and then this just protects the connection with the antenna from the elements and then you can just screw it on to the back of the antenna. So for this particular job we're going to be mounting into a chimney, um, just customer's preference, but uh, we, we can do it in the roof as well. And you know, not everybody has a chimney that's higher than their roof. Uh, this one, it's about the same height, so it's not a big deal. But uh, most of the time, we're installing it on the peak of the roof because it's a little bit higher than most people's chimneys. But uh, we can also do, do an install on the chimney as well. So because we're mounting into brick, we have to pre-drill with uh, a hammer drill and then uh, what I usually do is I put my first uh, tapcon into the brick I'll level the mount and then I can line up my my second holes for the drill so once that's lined up I'll, I'll put my second hole in and then uh, and then I usually just do one in each of the four corners and these these are super good uh, screws. They'll they'll hold into the chimney probably longer than the chimney will last. So then I want to secure all the bolts so that everything's nice and tight, and then you can start mounting the antenna. The next thing that I do is I want to get the antenna placed on the mount and pointed in the direction uh, that will get the best amount of channels. Once that's uh, set up and tightened, uh, what I usually do then is I'll feed the wiring up through the base of the mount just to give it a little bit of extra support and I'll leave a little bit of slack and then I'll attach the cable to the antenna. So once the mount is secure and the cabling is attached to the antenna, you want to secure the cabling to the brick. That way it won't be waving around in the wind. So here I just use some plugs and some cable clips. So it's usually, um, you know, a little tricky to get the cabling over uh, along the roof and, and also hide it, but uh, roof vents have a dual purpose now. Generally, like by the electrical panel is where all the uh, the coax cables that go to the different rooms in the house are all um, 
finish there. So what I, what I do is I try to get the cabling down. One of the best ways to do that is by using the downspout for the eaves trough. We install antennas for a variety of homes and we always try to find the neatest way to secure the cabling to your building and get it down to your TV. So with regard to antenna signal, it's always best to have the cabling as short as possible. So when I get it down to the location where it needs to be terminated, I'll usually cut it off and put a new connector so that we can cut down on length. So most homes usually have a junction box where they have pre-existing wiring running into their TVs and this is usually a good spot for me to run the antenna cable. I'm hooking up, uh, this is basically the power injector, the DC injector for the amp that's built into the antenna. Mm -hmm. So you just need a plug. This guy, it's labeled on here but the wire that's coming from the antenna goes to here and then you inject power here inside you know you got power doing now is we're, we're gonna hook into a four-way splitter to connect his TVs so this guy this guy here is our input because it's coming from the antenna and it's gonna go on here on the in Okay, and then we've got the various wires going to the different TVs in the house. So once you've found the wiring junctions in the area of the house where the TV is, you want to make sure that it's unplugged from any other provider's boxes and then plugged directly into the back of the TV. So now, now that we have the cabling uh, run into the TV, the first thing you want to do is, is go to input and make sure that your input's on TV. And then we have to program the channels onto the TV, so you're going to want to go to menu. And then usually there's, there's something on every TV that, uh, that, look, that shows like auto programming or, or uh, it'll say like channel setup, something like that. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the signal type is, is saying uh, antenna instead of cable. Okay? And then you want to go to auto program and select that. And it usually takes about five to ten minutes. It's some, some TVs exaggerate a little bit, but and you just want to go to OK. And then what it's going to do here is show you uh, the channels that it finds as it's searching. Some TVs will do analog first and then digital and you can't really tell it to do one or the other but uh, you just gotta wait for it to finish and it'll program in the channels for you. Okay so once it's done uh, programming all the channels it's gonna show you how many it found and you just wanna click OK. So here we found 35 channels and you just hit return and then uh, your channels will come up right away and uh, you can just use your channel up and down button on your on your remote and it's going to uh, show you your, your different stations you can depending on the TV you have it'll actually show you um, a little bit of information here you can you can see the name of the show it'll give you a brief description up top how much time is remaining, uh, the resolution that the current um, show is playing at. The ones that are that are uh, really nice picture, you'll you'll get um, super high def. But uh, it just depends on the programming that's being shown at the time. So if, if it doesn't look like it's it's high def, it's because it's probably playing something like. Bewitched, which was never even filmed in high def, so it's not going to look amazing, right? But it's because it's an older show. So as you can see from the video, 
At Skyview Electronics, we take a lot of pride in setting up HD TV antennas. We have over 30 years experience in the antenna market. If you want a professional install, give us a call at 905-655-3661 or visit our website at skyview.com.